Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough as the Yellow Turbans. We started this as a Huang Shao campaign. Luke Swan is our current faction leader and we are at war with most of the other factions. We got a big old chunk of territory that we've been carving out over the last few episodes, even descending into the south eastern part of China. We're going to take some more of that territory today. I think we may be able to capture Zhang Jiang's capital here. I'm going to try to push up and attack Fan Yi's capital at Yanmen. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it, though, because I think it's kind of bugged. We're not able to attack this faction, even though we're at war. And we may be able to push out here and capture maybe one of these two uh, provinces there, or settlements, I guess I should call them. Uh, let's go through the easy stuff really quick here. Let's take this army here led by Zhu, Zhu Zhi and let's wipe out this rebellion should be able to auto resolve this yeah be gone vacate my lands we don't want you here this will take the money and the replenishment all right they there they go Ooh, we got a general out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and finish them off. Delegate once more. Take the ransom. Oh, look at that. Another general. And then let's see. How far can we move in here? And are any of these territories... Are they at risk of having further rebellions? Let's see here. This is where public order is bad. So at Anping. And Yi. Can I really not sort by name? It's crazy. Could you not sort commanderies by name? What? I guess you can't. All right, where is Anping in here? You know what? Why am I even bothering with that? Okie dokie, right here. Minus 36 going down by four per turn. And then Anping is going up by six per turn, but at minus 40. These are big food producers, so... Giving them tax exemptions is probably not good. Also, a big money producer. Wow. We lose a lot of money if we turn off taxes there. Not so much if we turn them off here at Yi. So, but then our food is zero, although it is winter. Well, I think for now, we'll just kind of head back to the city here. And did we gain a skill point? We did. Where would we like to place this? This guy's pretty low level. Uh, let's just head over to the research rate. We got so many captains and generals and whatever. Okay, we gained two. So we have somebody who is wise, expertise, cunning, authority, and satisfaction. No, that's very good. More expertise and a boost when spying. I don't understand why yellow turbans get anything for spying. And committed. So, um, Da Rao, pretty good. Let's check out Long Gang. Agile, charismatic, and friendly. And he came in with an astronomer. Which can be combined with the water clock. I'm going to remove this. So, Agile, going to give him melee evasion and expertise. Charismatic looks pretty good, although he does increase his ambition to gain independence as an administrator. And friendly looks pretty good. Instinct and authority. So cool. We can keep both of them. I don't see any reason uh, why we should change that. And over here. We haven't really been spending a lot of uh, effort on improving our settlements because we basically brought up a bunch of armies to push out to attack Lubu, Zheng Jiang, King of Wu, and Duchy of Zhang. So I don't think I'm quite ready to uh, improve our commanderies quite yet. I'm just going to kind of keep this humble 3200 per turn going and try not to spend too much and just keep fighting these battles. 
Now they've brought a force up over here at Taiwan. This is Zhang Jiang's capital. We are replenished here. No flaming shot for this guy. Now, can we get there to the capital? No, we cannot quite get there. Maybe if we had unlocked reach. This guy doesn't have reach. Okay, in any case, he can't get there. Uh, so what we're going to do, I think... Oh, boy. I really don't want to wait any turns. So we're just going to go ahead and get as close as we can here. Yeah, that's very good. We are going to continue our siege. Watch this. <laughs> Sai Fang, we are going to... We're going to pop you outside. There's Sai Fang. We are going to force march. And we are going to merge. And that is how we make up the difference. We can delegate this. We gained an ancillary there. Some piece of uh, armor that we probably can't wear. Alright, let's go check out the next person. Bright, kind, and agile. Another good character. Look at that. We have so many characters. It's rather disgusting. Uh, let's see here. Is anything damaged? Nope. All looks good. And then so this guy right here. Um, I want to see if we can catch Shi Chengzhu. That's the general of this army. I want to see if we can catch them. Uh, so let's just come over here where we have an 80% chance of ambushing. And let's just go and do an ambush stance. And we don't have any sort of garrison building or anything here. I don't think we need it. And I think we look safe back there. I'm going to go ahead and build the garrison building here, though. I'm not going to construct it instantly. I'll just let it finish all on its own. And we are replenishing... And recruiting here. So. Is Gongdu in any sort of trouble anywhere? I don't want to spend a bunch of money, but. I want to help Gongdu. I want to leave this guy where he is because it seems to keep Duchy of Zhang from threatening our silk trader. Uh, I'd also like to come over here and get the Jade Mine at some point. So, I think what we'll do... You know, Lubu is pretty tough, right? So, let's take our better army here. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to encamp right here in our territory so that we can continue to replenish. Very good. Now, this guy here he is a veteran monk. Let's look at... Uh, Gangbo. Gangbo has minus 15% retinue upkeep. Let's recruit. And we'll add Gangbo. Do they get along? Seems they do. And then one of the other people that we brought in was uh, decent. Scholar. Yeah, let's bring in Long Gang. Right here. Okay, so this guy has reduced retinue upkeep. So something like the Bringers of Righteousness would be good because they're expensive. Uh, we're not paying a whole lot of money for cavalry units. Uh, let's look over here. this guy get yellow turban spearmen he does so let's get uh two units of spearmen and i'm thinking two cavalry units here we go spending all of our money again and, you know it's the cavalry that are so expensive 1800 wow 
It's a lot. Um, now, the Venerable Wu. They're scary. They cause scare. Let's get one, two, three, and back them up with a unit of chanters. This is this is kind of an oddball of a force, but uh, we'll let them go ahead and recruit there for a little bit. And just like that, we spent like fifteen thousand. Oh, good grief! Good grief! He goes so fast. <sighs> Let's see over here. This is Bian Zhenpei. So she moved over here to take Lao Ying. And I'm trying to decide if we should send her south down here to help with this bit. But we just brought another army up here last episode. So I'm thinking maybe we don't need her. And we wiped the floor. We lost an army, okay? But it was really only one general and then some yellow turban captain units. But we did lose an army here. But then um, we more than made up for it by taking the toolmaker back. And we are heading over here towards Runan. So I think with one, two, three armies, I think we can handle uh, Sima, Sima Yi and Fang Anjuin right over here. So I think we're going to take her. Do we still have military access in this guy's territory? We do. Good. So I think we're going to take her and we're just going to force march all the way down here. And maybe we'll use her to take the Jade Mine. And then once she gets over here and has the Jade Mine, she can come over to the Silk Trader. And maybe we can come push down here and attack Duchy of Zhang. I don't know what all Duchy of Zhang is doing. He's not really sending anything our way. Let's get this one army right there. Uh, but that all looks pretty good. And then we have a couple people who have skill points. Let's go find them. So this person is on assignment. Do we have one in here that reduces the local corruption? Mm, let's go. Let's go effortless flow. I guess. Not really putting a lot of thought into a lot of these now at this point. Let's get the ten percent character experience and level up a little bit faster. And we shall. Ooh, if we force march all the way to here, that's going to put us really close to attacking the farm. And this guy's replenishing. He's in the city. He's like one turn away. We got some good stuff in here. We got some bringers of righteousness. We got some shreds. We got men of the forest. And then we got a uh, retinue over here that's all melee. So what I think we're going to do is we do want to take this farm, but let's uh, let's sit right here and let's encamp. So if they want to attack us, the farm, I think, will come on as reinforcements, but we will have the walls and towers. And I don't think they're going to pose any threat to us. Okay, now right here. Um, we have Trebs. That's Kingdom of Wu there. I'm kind of thinking we should push across here. Here's Gan Ning. This is one of the armies that helped take the toolmaker from us. They managed to escape. Uh, can we get across this river? You know what? I'm pushing across. That's that's what we're gonna do. Because I think we can take this fishing port. In fact, I'm going to force march. I'm going to I'm going to commit fully to that course of action. And then right here, I want to get this copper mine. So we are going to head in and in camp. Okay, they got a small force there. Very small. This guy is like taking forever to get his military supplies up. So we're going to bring this guy forward also. And in camp. So our military supplies are not changing. So these two armies should be able to reach the copper mine. It's possible that he may come across here and attack our trade port. If he does, 
Ah, uh, maybe we just bring a force up and go back and clobber them. I think we'll be okay. And then we have this army right here is replenishing because I did an auto resolve when taking the copper mine down here. So it was a little uh, extra punishing. And I think we want to go over here and attack Yu Zhang. So let's move up. Can we get all the way there right now? Kind of looks like we can. No. Okay. And we will encamp. Are we... We are pretty much uh, replenished here. It's just our generals that aren't. So you know what? Let's rethink this. Ninety-five percent chance of an ambush. We lose out on a little bit of replenishment. Not a big deal. Okay. Now is that all of our armies? It should be. At least all the ones that count. Very good. Let's check our reforms. Most recently, uh, we finished this, which unlocks the Watchmen of the Peace. These are medium crossbow infantry. That's kind of cool. Now, what are these? Guardians of the land? What are these? 120 units in the retinue. What about this? Only 60. Arm of the Supreme Peace. Halberd Infantry. Only 60 per unit at extreme unit sizes. Wow. And 265 per turn. These guys must be really good. They have splash attacks. <laughs> it even says, like, small unit in the, in the description. Virtuous Nobleman. 42. Good in melee, good armor. Roll assault. You know what? Heavy Axe Cavalry. Does this unlock some more cab for us now? What about, what do we have here? Heavy sword infantry. Well, we could use that. Not that concerned with all the construction time reduction. You know, let's, um, let's maybe get this one that unlocks encourage frugality we might be able to get a little bit of uh, extra income by deploying some of our veterans they got lots of people so many people too many people yeah so we can we can already reduce corruption by 50 percent with that one that's pretty good uh we also somebody died uh, at the beginning of our turn right here. I went through it last episode, but we have a local leader that we can uh, deploy. So let's find a settlement that has a lot of corruption. Wow, we're at 0% here. Here we go, 32% corruption. So we're losing like 1,100 per turn in Taiwan. Thirty-two percent corruption. I guess maybe our taxes at a, are at a lower level right now too. Let's appoint an administrator. What's our income breakdown here? Industry is the highest. Peasantry and commerce, not too bad. Does anybody in here boost income from industry? That's peasantry. Here's income from industry beyond gen pay. Could be pretty happy with that, I think. Income from commerce. No, I think beyond gen pay is better. I wish we had filters, you know, just like, like a little checkbox that said, show me income from industry. And, and it would just show you like, who's there. It would make this a lot less tedious. Uh, 
And that's 5% from all sources on that person. Okay, you know what? We're just going with beyond Gen Pei and the purpose of uh, getting this moving along. And then so just like that, we just got like an extra thousand back per turn. Very good. And well, what else do we have over here? Do we have anything else that has high corruption where we're losing a lot of money? Because we can deploy somebody. Like we'd get 700 back there, 600 back here. If we get rid of all the corruption. Oh, we get over a thousand back at Yao Zhu. A thousand back at Hadong. You know, let's do it at Hadong. Encourage humility. Ponghu. Minus 50% corruption, local province. Is it like not taking effect yet? Oh, it takes him one turn to get there. Duh. Okay, uh, I think that's all we can do right now. So let's end our turn, see what the AI does. Uh-oh. Oh my God, is he gonna try to do it? <gasps> ooh, 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 okay, we got a big decision here. Uh, they are attacking with um, like a thousand more troops than what we have. Zhao Yu. Okay, you know what? I think we can win. It is a little questionable. But with two armies coming in, like, um, from the south of where we are right now, I think we should go ahead and we should fight this. And we should try to cause as much damage as we can. Uh, if we lose, we lose. But if we do lots of damage to these armies and the garrison of the farm, then our two armies that are coming in from the south will have a much easier time of getting rid of this AI faction, so... And they are in the snow, so they're going to be a little bit, like, slow uh, marching around. So where where are they hiding? We can't see them. Lovely. They're probably going to have fire arrows. I'm anticipating some fire arrows. Okay, we got a bunch of yellow turbines. Okay, we're going to put uh, two yellow turban warrior units here. We're going to put two of them right here. We're going to put the other two right back here. We are going to put our spearmen over here. And then I don't really care about everybody else because we'll just move them around and adjust once we start the battle. Let's turn off fire at will. Show yourselves. Okay, there they are. Okay, let's move up. Let's uh let's push out. And let's make sure they're not uh, anywhere else. Okay, so there's all the reinforcements and whatnot. Alright, I think we're in good shape here. Let's push way up with those guys and these two. I don't want to shoot them with our men of the fort. Where are they going? Get back here. No, no, no. no. You come here. Okay, I'm going to bring our spears over to that side. I think we only need one unit on each of these um, these entrances around this side. I think that's where these guys are going to go, but they're, that's the garrison. It's really weak, so the, the primary threat is over here. So 
Let's um, move up. I'm gonna be able to hit these guys. I want to shoot these guys like right now. But then I also want to protect our flanks. Shoot them. Shoot them. Okay, we're taking a little bit of fire. I want to get rid of all their, their missiles as much as possible if I can. Uh, what are these ding-dongs doing? I held control and clicked right there. They should have just walked up. Grief. Okay, blast them. Please get rid of them. Okay, we got this unit over here is weak. They managed to break one unit of Yellow Turban Warriors. This unit is weak, so let's uh, redirect over here. Yeah, that garrison's gonna run over here and die. That's fine. Okay, let's shoot that unit. And let's shoot... That unit. Now, the other good thing with this is they are running out of all their ammunition, too. So, once they're out of ammo, the only thing they can do is run up and stand in front of the towers. Of course, we're also running out of our ammunition, but we can use our um, out of ammo archer units to plug the gaps over here. So, uh, let's move up and let's see. Now, we're going to pull back inside. Okay, that unit is out of ammo. Let's uh, let's move up and shoot the mounted archers with these guys. And let's bring a unit of spearmen up too. And then we'll bring these guys back here. I think we're going to bring this captain unit over here. Oh, out of ammo. Let's let their missile unit uh, shoot our missile unit that's out of ammo, and we'll keep shooting the mounted archers there. Okay, go ahead, waste your ammo. Waste it on our Curdy Archers. And then uh, we can just back out to here, I think. And kind of speed things up a little bit. Um, you guys come back this way, too. Okay, both of our Archers are going to go over here and try to use up all the ammo on their Militia and their Crossbows. And here they are pushing up over here. Okay, another one of their units in the back ran out of ammo, and then now the crossbows are. Oh, the crossbows are still pretty full. Okay, now we are taking a bunch of damage over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come around this side. They're pushing up with their infantry and stuff here, their generals and everything. Okay, let's come out with our general out to the side. And I think we're going to charge into all this uh, cavalry and whatnot, uh, or archers out there. Uh, People's Warband, come back this way, please. 
And let's shoot the cavalry with our towers. There we go. Come on. Bring it up. Okay, what I want is I want the archers over here to stop shooting this stuff and target a little bit over there. Yeah, let's come up into the trees so that we have some increased missile resist. Let's shoot these guys right there. Let's push up with all three of these units so we can shoot the crossbows. Yeah, these guys are taking damage. And let's go get... You know what? We'll get this unit right here. And we should be holding this insurance just fine. Oh, we can't hit them. Alright, then you know what? Come over here. Put that unit right over there. Shoot Fang Angjuan. Here's our general over here. We're fighting these guys there. So we're going to break all this in the back without too much difficulty. We're ready to intercept people coming in over here. This unit's going to come over here and hopefully draw fire from those crossbows. We are losing some uh, units in the center here. That's fine. We got another unit right behind to back them up. Let's move our channers forward. Okay, how are we doing over here? Let's go get these guys now. And let's bring this unit down this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this without too much difficulty. Let's shoot Song Yang with two of these units. And Fang Anjuan with the other. And then we'll bring these guys this way to eat some more of that uh, crossbow ammo. They're almost out. And then they got just this mounted archer unit back there with the ammunition, I think. Let's get our general moved up in the position here. Charge into the side. We're looking good over there. And we got the Channers in here providing good buffs to our our units. Okay, what are these boneheads doing? She's fleeing. Uh, let's shoot that. Okay, now you shoot the Saber Militia. You can shoot the G Militia. And you can shoot the G Militia. Here we go. Right into the rear. I hope it's a nice, effective charge. There we go. We got one, two, three, four units of routing. Everything is routing. That's it. We smashed them. Let's run down as much of this as we can because that is their garrison for the uh, farm. Okay. They still haven't really made it in here to fight these yellow turbans, although 30 of them appear to be dead. Well, now they're here. Okay, let's uh, get the People's War Band charging in, and then we'll move the Channers in in a moment. We also have Men of the Forest. We can bring them this way. Let's bring this unit around the side there. And our captain just ran out of ammo. Uh, let's bring our general over here. Let's come out to the side. With the channers over there. Okay, 
Well, their infantry captain has uh, come back to the battle and regrouped. He's come around here with the men of the forest. And charge into these guys. I do think we're going to win. Turning guard mode off of everything. Let's come up with these guys. Okay, we broke this unit of mounted archers, so now we can come in this way. Looks like we broke the infantry captain from the garrison way in the backfield there. There we go. Charge in, men! And let's get them out of our home. The AI now enclosed on that side. Let's bring our channers up from over there. We got our channers coming in from this flank. Men of the forest are going to come around the sides here. More channers with their big clubs. And the AI is uh, almost completely encircled. So it's going to be an absolute bloodbath when they finally decide to flee. Bring our general. Men of the forest. Men of the forest. All their generals are trapped. Their infantry are trapped. Okay, charging in on the side. And then right here. They are completely enclosed. Escape is impossible. <laughs> and so now pretty much we can uh, just speed this up full speed. And the faster we get out of here and get back onto the battlefield, or I'm sorry, the campaign map, the uh, faster we can uh, proceed to kicking the crap out of Kingdom of Wu, Duchy of Zhang, at all. There we go. They've broken entirely. Let's get in with our generals. Uh, no. How come our units that don't have guard mode on are not pursuing? It's so frustrating. Like, go run stuff down. What are y'all doing? Like, come on, chase them. Chase them all down. Are you guys all stuck on each other? You, go get them. Urgh. I don't know how they all escaped when they were completely enclosed. And then when I gave them, when I took guard mode off, I don't know why we didn't pursue. <laughs> yeah. it just seems screwy. Is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Am I just not doing it right? You tell me. Go run down more stuff. Come on. Good enough. Pyrrhic victory. Why? Because we lost a couple units in the beginning, I guess? It's all a bunch of sacrificial peasants, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we lost a good chunk of our force. Um, we'll replenish. The income was, was pretty uh, small. Oh, really? You're going to attack the salt mine. 
Well, I guess it's pretty even. Let's start the battle. I don't think they're going to win. They're pretty banged up. I think we can do this. All right, so they all just on that one side. No, they're over here too. Okay. Um, well, I think one unit of yellow turban, whatever, right there. Followed by the captain and a unit of archers. Probably good for this side. And then so on this side. Get our other two units. And then where do we put our cavalry? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, maybe one here, one in the center. And my thinking on that is this one could go either way to reinforce if we need it. And I think we need at least one of them over here for these guys anyways. So. Okay, just pop out a little bit. Okay. Looks good. I think we're already getting our money's worth on the missiles here. Okay, these guys are taking a lot of damage. If I can get this cavalry around to the archers there, that might be our best play with them. Crossbowmen are already starting to flee. Let's uh, let's now shoot that guy and the sentinel and then the tower can shoot right there. Very good. And we'll try to go get on the archer militia. Let's pull back with the archers here. Okay, let's go get those guys. Eh, I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, let's come back in with the captain. Shoot the sentinel with the tower. They should be running. I think we're okay back there. Let's go hit the Saber Militia here now. Oh, good. We got overlapping uh, tower. Nah, it comes out this way. Don't. They tried the brace. Didn't do them uh, much good, did it? About half of them are lying on the floor. Uh, peasant archers, come back, please. Get the mounted Lancer Militia. Okay, our uh, infantry unit over here is having some trouble. Let's uh, pull back, and maybe the Sentinel will go down from our Archer Fire. And I think Chong Sai is our next big uh, threat over here. Okay, so blast him, please. Our men are out of ammunition. They cannot fire. Good. We'll charge in. Uh, the cavalry is running. Let's get the peasant band with the towers next back there. This guy's taking more damage. Good. Let's move our cav over and position ourselves, I think, to hit the saber militia in the side here. So we want to come down this way. And we want to push up and get in here. We need the... Uh, we need reinforcements, and this cavalry unit looks like they're getting here just about in the nick of time. 
And we're looking okay in the backfield. Okay, let's go get the Saber Militia here. Come on, get up here. This guy's lost almost 20 in his retinue since we last checked. There we go. Cavalry charges have gotten the job done. Let's get on the axe band now. Everything's starting to break, so this fight's over. We'll just be waiting on Chong side to admit defeat. So they've uh, completely broken over there. The tower is probably doing some more damage. Now let's just pull back with our cavalry here. And he doesn't want to give up. He's going to fight to the last man. See if we can find him in here. Uh, I don't see... Well, it, maybe this is him right here. Yeah, I think this is him. He's doing a good job. He's put... Oh, man, look at that horse kick. Knocked a bunch of yellow turbans everywhere. This is definitely him. The man himself. Impervious to blades. Look at these guys. These guys are like they can't hit anything. A swing and a miss over and over again. Like, like these guys are swinging here, but it's not doing anything. Oh, he's dismounted. He goes down. Oh, he's down for the count. Don't tell me that, like, this is him over here. No, 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 no. You're dead. Maybe this is him. Oh, the whole horse. The entire ship goes down. Bummer. You know, it's odd. If they would have just, like, went back to their territory and replenished for a turn or two, they probably could have come back and done better, but... Whatever. A little bit of movement from Duchy of Zhang, but nothing noteworthy, I don't think. Better not have any dead generals. Oh, faction succession, Lady Fang. And I guess she's been married. Lady Fang Zhu Ping has succeeded Wen Shu. Wen Shu's been hanging on for a long time, but he has finally succumbed to either old age or death in battle. We've got a, another character has popped into our court. Do we have anybody like over here? This guy, Tuba C, he sucks. Let's look at the latest edition down here. Wen Sen, quiet, okay, stubborn, mm. honest. Mm, minus 5% corruption, faction wide. That's not bad. He's a healer. What's his name? Wen Sen. I, I wish I could, like... Uh, we have to release him from office first and then see, like, how this guy does in there. See, what I want to know is I want to know if this guy gets along with everybody. Because the uh, Lu Bin doesn't get along with everybody. John Sion that he doesn't get along with. 
And he doesn't provide the corruption reduction. Maybe we should look at uh, just throwing this guy in there. But you know what? We're pretty, we're pretty close to an hour. We're a little bit under. And I think we're going to end this one here. So we'll look at that when we come back in the next episode. Let me know if you enjoyed this one with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying the campaign still. I think we're doing good. We are definitely uh, winning and doing well. Check out the rest of the channel. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon and take care.